Hi, I'm Christy Simpson. Today's question is from Lori. What day of the week and time do you have your performances? Are there advantages of doing a Sunday night performance versus a Sunday morning? Has anyone done two performances back to back within a three hour time period? And you know, I think it varies um, depending on your uh, congregation or the amount of exposure your choir has had. So if you have a built-in audience, you can really do it whenever you want. Um, if you do, I think doing it on a Sunday night is fantastic. Uh, doing it on a Friday night or a Saturday night, or maybe even doing two nights. If you have people that are used to coming in the congregation, that's amazing. It works really well to do it on a Sunday morning if you want to draw new people or if you don't have a huge audience for your choir yet. So if you do it on a Sunday morning, you get the church people who um, might know other kids uh, that might want to be in it next time. So you have a good outreach. You just get a bigger audience. Um, if your pastor does not want to give up your uh, his uh, sermon time, um, you might be able to connect with your worship pastor. I always did with my husband. Um, he let me have his worship time. So on Sunday mornings, we used to do it for the 30 minutes that we would do worship and still have a sermon. And that proved to be a good outreach to the families that would come hear uh, the children's performance that wouldn't normally come to church. So that was kind of cool. And sometimes I would have the kids do a closing number after the sermon to make sure everybody stayed. Tricky, tricky, you know. Um, you can also do two in a row. I've done that before, but I would suggest having a big uh, time in between where they can have food and play games and run around that kind of recharges their batteries because if you go back to back your second one is usually much lower energy and not very good but if you can have like an hour to have a pizza party um, you know ice cream party stuff like that play some running around games uh, then that can work really well I've done Friday nights at 4 30 and at 6 um, or even Sunday, if you have a, a smaller venue and a lot of people that want to come, you could do a 4.30 and a 6 or a 6.30 to make sure you have enough time in there. Um, I think the key is just to see what works for your, uh, when you can get the most people there and when your kids uh, can really shine uh, the best. Uh, so just play around with it and switch it up if you want. Um, you know, give your kids more time to perform.